AI6, Future of Water, Future of Fashion, Future of Socialization. We would like to first start by introducing our star team. Hi, I'm Massa Matsimpur and I'm a graphic designer. Hi, I'm Bea and I'm an industrial designer. Hi, I'm Arnav, I'm an architect. Hi, I'm Jimena and I'm a business manager. Hi, I'm Jen, I'm a photographer and communication designer. We had a few turning points throughout the project that defined our project. Let's take you through this journey. The story started with the dullest man and how things that he was trying to document were some things that we would fail was in, were unimportant. When the conversation of water popped up, we realized that water was something that we took for granted as well as a resource. This meant that maybe if we need to do behavioral change, we need to understand why and how much water we're using in terms of consumption. This led to a conversation about different states and how much they are using in terms of water. This is the first conversation, a startup starting point for us in the journey of water. We further felt that we need to research about the aspects of water. We looked into climate change, into the existing technologies in AI in water, uh, how mythology and culture had impacted the use of water, water cycle and its scientific uses. Uh, we came up with a few interesting insights. The fact that 35,577 times the non-porous land on earth had increased. Uh, because of climate change, there were extreme droughts and extreme floods in the same area. Um, the fact that earlier water was considered a resource along which civilizations were built, but now uh, water was treated more as a resource. We looked into the different AI systems that are available and the kind of solutions that they were providing at this point to have an overall view. At this point, we decided to research more into weather, looking into uh, physiological, psychological aspects of it, looking into the existing AI technologies, also from a big data point of view. At, by this point, we were already looking at solutions and thinking of different things that we could play along with the AI systems. Bea, at this point, brought across a very important discussion. Uh, if we are trying to read weather, I mean, I know we, we, we have this idea of uh, turning, turning things around, ecologically speaking, and, you know, CO2 emissions and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and, and what I've been kind of looking at is that when, like, personal actions, although they do matter and they do impact, the impact is, is like minimum. What really is generating uh, problems with CO2 emissions and all that kind of stuff is, is the big enterprises, is the big productions, is the production. Why not like do analyze the weather, but for a personal use? This led us to the main turning point of the project, wherein we discussed what our roles were for this project and what we set out to achieve. The sense that our project would be like, someone is gonna measure, someone is gonna say, someone is gonna prove, you know, like there will be actually no proof of our designing skills yeah. and of our problem solving skills, you know? That's exactly what we were discussing last time that, you know, we, we cannot like base on too much of assumptions. This conversation shifted our focus from looking into uh, solutions for future water and future of weather to looking into how excessive use of water in the fashion industry was a problem that we could deal with at an individual level. Uh, I'm from Mexico and I'm not very used to this kind of cold weather, you know, super windy. Uh, sometimes it's going to rain, sometimes it doesn't. Like sometimes I feel I'm overdressed in, in the sense that I have layers and layers of clothes and then I don't know what to do with them because, you know, it's, it's not as cold as I thought it was going to be. So what if uh, we had something that was reading the temperature outside and was getting this data and would uh, regulate the warmth of the clothes I'm wearing. And thus started the journey of thinking of protection as a way of connecting to the natural environment, in particular, the weather. The jacket, it's getting the data from your environment 
and maybe you can just adjust it like I want it a little bit warmer and then uh, it goes up or I want it like I'm really wet you know and so you have to go into dry mode super quickly you know like uh, but but this would be like just adjustments the jacket would read the environment on their own and it would be constantly getting this kind of data. So what Bea said is that an algorithm that responds to your uh, to the weather and would adjust to that. What uh, Jen added to that is that an algorithm that responds to that and in addition to that also reads your daily activities and you know uh, it does both things that connects both the ideas as well, right? The solution though raised questions of personal identity that were getting lost if everybody wore the same jacket. And thus the team started looking into aspects of how to make it more personalized to every human being. Um, so yeah, so in terms of the jackets, um, are there any behavior or cultural codes that will improve or affect this? Would we be using this AR so people could see before buying the jacket, like how it looks on them? This would be what would so be that if you take a picture with the jacket, like mm. you could say, today my jacket has wings and some oh. wings would appear on the in picture. The, the, the idea that came about was that the jacket would not only function as a heating and cooling device that used the sensors to detect the temperature outside and, the temp uh, and to detect the temperature of your body to regulate the two, but also to look into digital fashion and how using AR filters, we could express our own individuality and personality through the jacket as well. The AI would function in three phases. The first would be the signal, which would be received from the data of the weather, data of the body. The antenna would be um, the cloud computing, which would take place to analyze what's the best solution that or the best temperature for the body at that point of time. This would interact with the human being through an interface on your phone or as an application. And the response would be to heat or cool the body through uh, heating or cooling of the jacket. <laughs> yeah, but I'm so cold here though. like. That's why oh. I liked the topic because I can find a solution to my problem right now. <laughs> like I'm even wearing like this jacket, a sweater and like oh. another layer underneath and I'm still cold. At this point, we started to do market research to see what were the other options available in the market. Luckily, we found that this was a solution that was already existing in terms of Tengu, Smart Jacket and Gamma. These were solutions that were heating and cooling not in terms of an AI, but they had heating and cooling options. We also found extensive user research on size, design, comfort, and materiality. At this point, we started to design and prototype our product. There were some parameters that we set according to which we wanted it to perform. Accessibility was one in which we wanted that social activity, both physical and virtual, should be in terms of adaptability, there should be heating and cooling for extreme weathers. In terms of durability, we decided to go for a graphene infused material. This could be rechargeable from solar power and also have a battery pack inside the jacket itself. In terms of protection, it should have UV protection, waterproof and antibacterial. In terms of usability, it should be lightweight, a remote control with a mobile application. Uh, in terms of appearance, if it was sleek and fashion, unisex design, and possibly sports and casual. These were some criteria that we set for our product. In terms of interface design, it would show the current uh, temperature outside, it would show the te current temperature of your body, and uh, the current manipulation of the temperatures that it is doing. And if required, if you need to change some parameters of the heating or cooling according to your needs, you could do that as well. In addition, it would have an app store in which you could select the kind of look that you want in VR and you could select the kind of personality or kind of feel that you want to go for in this jacket. Thank you. That's all from our end. We as a group really enjoyed the activity and also working together.